Hello there, proudly presenting my Holy Grail makeup products today. These videos are all over YouTube. Jaclyn Hill started a really similar tag called Ride or Die, and I just love watching them. Asking a beauty junkie to narrow their makeup bag down to only one product from each category means you're left with the best of the best. Gives a really nice insight into someone's personal makeup style. This video is a collab with a YouTuber from Switzerland called Ali. She's filmed her Holy Grail makeup products too, so that's linked down below. She sent me a message recently asking if I wanted to collaborate with her, and I I was blown away because she has a huge channel. I'll tell you a bit more about her later. If you've been watching my videos for a while, this initial face base section will be no surprise. I have a core group of products that I very rarely stray from. My favourite illuminating base is the Victoria Beckham for Estee Lauder Morning Aura. Almost feels like a moisturiser with a beautiful, dewy, natural glow. I often leave it at that as my base for good skin days, but you can also use it as a highlighter. I don't wear foundation, so my tinted moisturiser favourite is the Chanel Le Beige All-in-One Healthy Glow Fluid. Heartbroken that this super sheer glowy wash of colour was discontinued a few years ago, but I'm thrilled to see that they're bringing it back. Spring summer 2018 everyone, keep an eye out. I'll be buying about 10 of them before they disappear again. Two concealer favourites that serve different purposes now. The Chanel Eclat Lumiere is my ultimate under eye brightening concealer. A few people have asked why I prefer this one instead of the YSL Touche Clat, and it's all about the texture. This is a fair bit more lightweight, almost like a liquid, so it blends beautifully, plus it comes in this perfect pinky tone for my skin. Clé de Peau is my spot concealing champion. Haven't found anything anywhere near as creamy, high coverage, yet natural as this. Disappears straight into your skin. Into the Gloss rightly raved about it and said it was worth the hefty price tag, and after using it for two years now myself, I have to agree. Glossier Boy Brow is my one-stop shop for great bold brows. Plenty of backups where this little guy came from. I have a separate review video where you can hear more about it, but in short, it's the best creamy, non-crunchy, pigmented brow tamer I've found. I used to love the Ico Brow Gel and Anastasia Brow Wiz, but now this is all I need. I'm a big cream blush person, as you're about to see in an upcoming product pile video, so this was a really hard category to choose. But the Chanel Le Beige blush sticks won for their beautiful blendable formula, light wash of colour, and sweet shade range. My favourite is number 20, a soft brownie rose. These were also discontinued, but they're coming back, spring summer 2018 again. Cannot wait. Bronzer isn't something I reach for on a daily basis. Actually, my five minute makeup routine is coming in a video soon, so you'll see exactly what I use every day before flying out the door to my full-time job. When I do want to add a bit of warmth, I love the RMS Beauty Bronzer. Again, a cream product that blends into your skin beautifully and adds a nice sheen and glow to your cheekbones. You can leave it toned down or really layer it up. It's also nice as an eyeshadow. So many people would probably choose the Soleil Tan de Chanel as their Holy Grail. I have it too, but I haven't used it enough to review it properly. I'm sure my Holy Grail products will probably change every few months when I discover a few more things. Honourable mention here to an amazing product I picked up in France a few years ago, the Guerlain Terracotta L'Eau Allée Bronzing Water. Very cool concept, light as water so you can blend a couple of drops into your moisturiser or foundation or dab it onto the high points of the face. You hardly need any product, that's not even a dropper, it's just what's on the end of the dropper. Up the cheekbones and a little on the bridge of the nose is where I like to look naturally sun-kissed. Highlighter was a bit tricky, I love anything that looks like it's part of your skin. Glossier Haloscope was up there, but my long-time love is the RMS Living Luminizer. You might have seen in my RMS Beauty Brand Review video that I've been using this product for seven years. I just love the dewy glow it gives. It's very pretty on the centre of the eyelid too. P.S. A sneak peek at some brand new unreleased RMS products is coming up in a video next weekend. Eyeshadow is, um, I mean, come on, this was brutal to only choose one. You can't. There are palettes and quads and pens and pots. It's an impossible task. So I've broken it down a bit. Sorry for cheating. My favourite palette is probably the Chanel Quad in Candeur et Experience, the four famous shades from their Rouge collection in 2016. They're the perfect, subtle, warm, tan brown shades for me, and I only ever apply them really lightly like this. A couple of really good shades missed out on being my favourite single shadow. The Burberry Light Glow Earthy Blush is one of my favourite eyeshadows, funnily enough. Just a really nice light tan brown that looks great all over the lid with a red lip, like the models wore in the Burberry 2015 Spring Summer Runway Show. Likewise, the Chanel Ombre Essentiel in Hesitation is a great all over the lid mauve with a slight shimmer, but the Burberry Cream Eyeshadow in Pink Heather won the day. It's a lovely soft pink that gives your lids some very natural looking depth. 
really interesting powder to cream formula too. My favorite shadow stick of all time is the Chanel Stilo Eyeshadow in Laurier Rose, a shimmery rose pink that works beautifully with green eyes and can be worn lightly or built up for more color payoff. It almost has a cooling effect on your eyes. And my ultimate eyeshadow pen, it's different because it has a brush applicator, okay, is the Ellis Fast Creamy Eyes in E128 Old Pink. This is a great burnt ready brown. The applicator is a bit of a mess, but I'm willing to put up with it because this is my ultimate eyeshadow color. Also such a great cream base underneath other shades like orange, peach, bronze, pink, or brown. Layer away. Holy Grail eyeliner probably should have gone to the Tom Ford eye defining pen, which is super slick, but I just love the Ico I Do liner. It's a slightly chunkier felt tip, so it's perfect for doing the kind of subtle wing I like. I'll leave a reference picture down below. I like to play around with mascara sometimes, but always come back to the same one. La Volume de Chanel. That's it, everyone, call off the search. Stop, stop. This is the best mascara ever. Beautifully full, defined, thick looking, yet natural lashes with one swipe. Lipstick was hard. This was almost stressful to choose. I've gone for my favorite formula first, which is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet. Rich, creamy, soft, non-drying. It stays all day if you dab or blot it on first. My favorite shade from this range is easily La Fascinante, a deep crimson red. But if I could squeeze in three others, pretty please, uh, they would be Burberry Lip Cover in Ruby, a brighter poppy red, Chanel Rouge Allure Rouge Noir, my favorite dark lip, and Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution in Bond Girl. They had to make the cut too. I wanted to include a favorite tinted balm here because I don't wear that much gloss and couldn't choose only one lip product. The Olio e Osso Balm in number five current is probably up to its sixth appearance on my channel by now. It's hydrating and light and lovely on the cheeks. Then the Fresh Sugar Tinted Lip Treatment in Plum. It's a bit more thick, sticky and pigmented. They both had to stay because the formulas are different, okay? <laughs> That was hard work narrowing it down and I didn't even do very well sticking to only one item. But let's see how Ali went. As I mentioned earlier, this video is a collab with Ali from Switzerland. Her channel, Pastella28, has over, wait for it, 115,000 subscribers and 12 million views. It's half the population of Australia, wow. She's a fair bit younger than me, so I'm very impressed. She's very sweet, full of energy and really bubbly. She started making arts and crafts videos when she was young. Now lots of life hacks, makeup hacks, DIY ideas, mixing different makeup products and some lifestyle and travel vlogs. My favorites are her makeup application videos because they're edited down to about two minutes, super short and sharp like mine. And we use quite a few similar products. Apparently I'm to blame for a big Glossier order she placed recently, sorry. Very interesting to see what she counts as her holy grail makeup. Thank you so much to Ali for suggesting this collab. I really appreciate it. So nice to see big YouTubers reaching out to little creators. And it was such a great topic to film. Really fun working out what my absolute favorite products are. Please leave me a list of your holy grail makeup products in the comments below. Oh, I feel like this video could be really bad for everyone's bank balance because you just know the suggestions down there are gonna be good. See you next time.